Is he the world's most evil man? He just screams out, secret basement. Hi, and welcome to Noisy Talks. I'm Alex Miller, and today I'll be chewing over the music news cud with Rosie Swash from The Guardian, John Doran from The Quietus, and Sam Wolfson from The Enemy. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Hello. Inevitably, this week, uh, all music news is basically centred around the Brits, and I don't think this should be the kind of show where we all kind of sit around too cool for school, uh, slamming everything that's mainstream. But, let's be honest, <laughs> the Brits was a massive pile of shit. <laughs> what was your highlight of the whole charade? Um, I know there was one. I remember thinking, oh, this is not so bad, actually. I thought Adele was kind of quite good. But maybe that was just compared to the rest of the uh, bollocks that was on show. You know, and uh, Noel Gallagher was all right as well, actually, I thought. Chris you know, Martin was fantastic on the piano. Another Noel Gallagher. Wait, what, what, was, what was going on with Coldplay suddenly, seven years too late, deciding to go new rave? <laughs> yeah. like, you know. Rosie, was there anything that stood out for you? Anything you, you enjoyed? The problem with the Brits is symbolised by the new award, which just looks like a tube of toothpaste. I think that's everything that's wrong with the Brits because it stopped being enjoyable for being shambolic and they tried to tighten it up and stop it from being the kind of place where Brandon Block goes on stage and starts a fight with one of the Rolling Stones. Fine. Just be really slick. Mm. Treat it really professionally. Just, just treat it like everybody's there to have this incredible accolade. Don't go halfway down and give people bits of plastic. Uh, how about you, Sam? Was there anything that stood out for you? I mean, I suppose like it was those rare moments where James Corden might slag someone off or did he slag anyone off? He made quite a nasty joke like about Rihanna's uh, period. Period, which was mm, He nice didn't one. like it when that guy walked in front of his camera, which I think is a bit of a flash of the real James Corden. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Furious, which is great. That's what you want more of. He is stunningly disingenuous, James Corden. I mean, like when he, when he suddenly got all upset during the uh, really heartfelt 15 second Whitney Houston tribute. Yeah. Um, like, so he suddenly went from being all smiles to looking like he was trying to crimp one out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna say that I really enjoyed the Florence and Machine performance. Mm. Oh, the stage. Awesome. Good God. If I wanted to know what sticking my head in front of the beam at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN would feel <laughs> like, that performance gave me some indication. I guess the thing that everyone's talking about is, um, is Adele Ed getting Sheeran cut off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Adele getting cut off by James Gordon, which does seem to be like an almighty like own goal. Yeah. That must have been a horrible moment when he had the producer in his ear going, cut her off, cut her off. I know. Think, Everybody already really hates me. <laughs> and now it's again cut off Adele. It was really weird, wasn't it? What did you think? Oh, my heart kind of leapt a bit when I watched it. Kind of, but then it's like, I mean, is this what we're going with for the year's big controversy? Like, <laughs> someone's speech being cut off so that we can make but the news. Did. There was a lot of flab in the uh, Whitney Houston 50. <laughs> so <laughs> that could have been cut away, trimmed away, you know, to give her an extra three seconds. It's right, because Blur thanks everyone they've ever met. It's a kind of awful perfect storm for Blur, isn't it? Because his really long, kind of embarrassing, arrogant speech confirmed everything that people think about Damon. <laughs> yeah. um, and then cut into Adele's time, which then meant that they started their gig with a chorus of boos. I know the, the blood forms didn't sit very well with you, John. No, I mean, it was awful. It, 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 it wasn't awful. I'm under-exaggerating. It was the low watermark of Western society. <laughs> the Glastonbury, like, in my head, is like the best gig I've ever been to and was completely yeah. amazing. But now, looking back on that, it may well have just been the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I never liked Blow. I really disliked them What's for wrong many with different you? reasons. I find them a completely heartless band. Why, you're, I can't you're understand how... You're my favourite journalist. <laughs> that would but be you're the, like, my age are from Camden yeah, Town. Yeah, exactly, and so that's why I like Polk. You know, Polk make perfect exactly. sense in all the levels that yeah. Blair never worked. The other big winner, aside from Adele, is um, my favourite, your <laughs> favourite, uh, Ed Sheeran. Uh, and I've got to say, like, I, I kind of felt slightly warm to him when I kind of saw him up there because he's just such a little virgin. And, and I kind of wanted to get him like that and, you know, give him a noogie and go, oh, nice one, mate. I started welling up at one point. Uh, I, I thought it's such a shame that he has to go straight from this ceremony back to his cardboard box at the back of Greg's in Mile End, you know. No. And also as well, what the hell is wrong with his haircut? You know, it's just like, I understand the idea that he's a pop star and he has to have like a, a relatively interesting haircut. <laughs> but I, I remember thinking, I, I could have got some LSD and just literally sat and looked at a photograph of his haircut all night long. I mean, that whole outfit 
that green element t-shirt. He was at the re rehearsals the day before wearing the same 99p <laughs> green element t-shirt. And I, at the time I thought, oh, it's quite weird how they don't put any effort into the, what they wear for the rehearsals. And that's, <laughs> that was supposed to be his like Adele moment, right? But and he gets his clothes out of black pit plastic <laughs> bin bags outside of mind on a Monday morning. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's homeless, isn't it? But I mean, isn't that, that's part of his charm, isn't it? Mm. Is that, uh, you know, that everyone else there wearing clothes almost as expensive as Rosie's dress. <laughs> yeah. uh, and and he's, he's the one keeping it real. One thing which did fill me full of joy was watching Jessie J win nothing. But somehow she, she still she managed to dominate so much of the night. She was in all those stupid eye dents. Oh, yeah. In the back of a limo. You could see oh, her pants. Just... The whole, I mean, it's... <laughs> that's her, that's her USP. <laughs> you would get pants that match. What did she say? <laughs> you can see her very <laughs> No, it's her, that's her USP. You can see her pants. <laughs> The most deserving person I saw all night, I had to witness on an ad break, and that was Katie B. What do you think she should have won? Everything, including best international <laughs> male. <laughs> okay, so let's be positive. How can we try and imagine that the Brits could be better next year? George Michael should give every single <laughs> to every single person He's put, the put, night. He's put, put in a silk kimono and box of shoes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> He's amazing. I, I love George Michael. Yeah. Me brilliant. too. But I mean, that year that Russell Brand did it, I mean, even if you hate him, which I assume that you do, uh, <laughs> he, I, that was funny. This was like the Christmas party of the music industry two hours later. So many old people, when you, you know, when you're watching these like old dying white people in their chairs kind of falling into their like aubergine mousse or whatever. Just, I don't know how you're supposed to get a party atmosphere going. God, the most depressed I've ever been is when they panned away from Blur to Louis Spence. <laughs> yeah, Louis Spence. And then to Chatty Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so horrible. <laughs> but I was amazed that Rihanna's performance was so, um, you know, pedestrian. Get it out or put it away, that's what I say to Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, close. Are you talking about her roast beef? <laughs> Uh, right, so I think that we can all agree that we've successfully kicked the teeth into the Brit Awards. So thank you very much, John, Rosie and Sam. Uh, I'll be back next week with my guests, Peter Blake, Rizzle Kicks and Louis Spence. Cheers. <laughs>